y-intercept always comes from plugging in 0 for x. Not just with parabolas, not just with lines, any function you're looking at. If you replace zero, uh, x with 0, you'll get your y-intercept. In this case, we're going to have y equals 0 squared minus 6 times 0 plus 4. So y equals 0 minus 6 times 0 is 0 plus 4 y equals 4. By plugging in 0 for x, we realize that when x is 0, y is 4. Because it's x is 0, we're on the y-axis. That means that we're at our y-intercept, 0, 4. Our y-intercept is the point 0, 4. If I plug in 0 for x, I get negative 2, 0, plus 4, 0, minus 6. Anytime I'm in standard form, the y-intercept is actually even easier than that. Anytime I'm in standard form, these two are going to be 0 when I plug in a 0. All that's going to matter is this number. My y-intercept was 4 because my c value is 4. In this one, this all isn't going to matter one bit because it's all going to be 0. My y-intercept is going to end up being negative 6. I can see that playing out. Negative 2 times 0 plus 4 times 0 minus 6. Y equals 0, plus 0, minus 6, y equals negative 6. My y-intercept, my y-intercept is the point 0, negative 6. So really, if it's in standard form, I don't need to pay attention to these guys. I just look at my c value. My y-intercept is going to be 0, 1. If I'm in vertex form, I have to actually plug in 0. If I plug in 0, I get 0 minus 3 squared plus 6. Y equals negative 3 squared plus 6. Negative 3 squared is 9. The negative is inside, so it becomes positive. Y equals 15. So it looks like my y-intercept is 0, 15. I'll do another one. Oh, I think I'm out of them. But here we go. I, this is in standard form, even though it doesn't have a b, it just means it's a plus 0x for b. My y-intercept is just the c value. My y-intercept is 0, 7.